I wanted to show you how I mark the barrels for 28, 24, 3 inch flower pots. 3 rows of 8. I start by marking the center and I take my tape measure. And these barrels are Twenty-three inches across. Okay. So what I do is I find my center point of the barrel, which is eleven and a half, and I put my tape measure against the wall. There's a reason I have the tape measure against the wall, and that is twelve and five eighths. I'll come over here. I'll put it down. I'll mark it 12 and 5 eighths. I'll come over here and I mark it 12 and 5 eighths. And then what I do is I measure the barrel this way and I go around and it's 18 inches. 18 inches, so I come this way 9 inches, and that's right there. And I come over here, and I go 9 inches, that's right here. Slide this out a little bit so you can see it. I come here, and I bring my tape pressure around, that's 9 inches. And I'll turn this way, and I'm going to do the same thing. That's nine inches. And now I'm going to come back. I'm going to back the camera up for a second. Give me a moment. These piles make barrel level, so I'm going to square it up. And I know that it's level now. My floor is a little bit of a slant because it was built from a from the porch underneath it. And now I want to show you how I get the uh, barrel mark. It's actually pretty quick. You measure it, and I want to put the seam towards you because I always start at the seam. There's my seam, and you can see there's a seam right down. See it? So I start with that and I measure it down. And each one of these, I want to find the center point between these rims. See these humps? I don't want to mold those, they'll be difficult. So when I come down here, it's 10 inches, so 5 inches would be my center point on that one. And this one is 11 inches, so 5 and a half inches on the center. And I'm putting it right in the seam. And it's 5 and a half. And the bottom is 11, so I'll do this one 5 and a half also. So I'm going to measure up five and a half inches on the seam. And I'm going to make this six inches actually because I don't want to too close to the that. And now my wheelbarrow is level. I already know that because I've done this a couple times. And what I do is I take the wheelbarrow, I take I take the level on the barrel and I know see it's exactly level on the lines. And then I mark my uh, tape measure exactly where my lines are. Not my tape measure, I'm sorry. I mark my level and then what I do is I just go around to each hole and I level it. Put it right on it, and then I just move the bottom once I get the top lined up until I'm level. That's 
perfect. And then I just put a mark. Mark. And a mark. And I come over to the next one, same way. I get it nice and level. And then I mark it. Mark it. And then I'll continue right around the barrel. Going each side. Yeah, trust that level. That's going to keep everything nice and straight. And I turn the barrel around so you can see. That's how I'm marking them. And as you can see, this one actually has a seam that goes down it or a miscoloration. I don't know if that's straight or not. I'm not going to change it. But I'll turn it a little bit more. I put my level on it. The very top. And I just move the bottom to get it level. And that's level right there. And I'm on my line. And I just put a mark. A mark. And a mark. And I continue that right around the whole barrel. Sure, I'm nice and level. Gives me nice straight holes. And I have one left. This is the last one right here. That's all there is to it. And that barrel's marked for 24 holes. Three rows of eight. But I won't drill dead center and I don't mark it anymore because it gets confusing until I put more holes in it. And now what I'll do is, I got it marked, I'll drill my hole here, my hole in the bottom, and then I'll make an X and I'll put another hole right here in the center. And I'll do that all the way around the barrel. So the holes will be staggered and the plants won't have to grow right up on top of each other. Thank you for watching.